Hello everyone, welcome to my second Boeing 777-300ER review and today's will be the awesome Emirates one that I believe came out oops well it doesn't say because it's not in the normal box which I will get to later flip it over and uh, this is a beauty um, Emirates is one of my favorite airlines. Let's get into the plane later. Now the box is very interesting due to the fact that it is brown, unlike most Gemini Jet boxes. But on the inside, it just has the scope of the aircraft and the aircraft outline down here. This looks like something that you would find on the Emirates, it's like there's a if there's a gift shop on the Emirates.com. And here is our plane. What a beauty. We've got an Emirates official licensed product. Oh, I guess that is from the website. Well, there's our Gemini Jets. Warning. Blah. Here's our information. Here's our information too. And that's our barcode, which we don't need to see right now. Um, that's it for the box, really. The box is a little lame. Well, I'm the most boxes, but this is how most Emir this is how all the Emirates boxes are. So on to the aircraft. One on me. This I don't know what that means in English, but I know it's French. So we'll start off with the front. Now up here we can see the windshield wipers, just like the Aeroflot Triple Seven. Here, let me compare. Let me go get it. Gemini Jets use the same design for this one. See, there's a big similarity between them, except the liveries. They both have the windshield wiper nose. nose. And they both have the triple... Well, that one has the word triple seven on it. So we'll put them aside. And uh, let's get on with this plane. If you want to check out my review on this guy, just check, uh, search for it, I guess. <laughs> and then, here we go. This is our Emirates plane, our beauty. Then, here's our Emirates logo, with the word, um, I can't speak Arabic, so. al Emirat. So we go right to left. And, uh, here's our logo on the engine. Al Emirat. So we have our www.emirates.com. Got our nose gear. These gears, the gear landing gear doesn't move, by the way. And on the bottom, we have our little Emirates thing, little Emirates logo, which I really like. The Gemini jets and the hole for the chrome display stand. Like I said earlier, the wheels do not move. On every Gemini or Phoenix model, set 777, like this guy, they have the black lines on the wings. I have no idea what that is for. If you want complaints or questions, ask Gemini Jets, not me. So we go. Here are the evacuation slide instructions, just like on the Aeroflot plane. Then here's our magnificent uh, United Arab Emirates uh, flag on the tail. Alright, registration time. A6 ECJ. Repeat. A6 ECJ. And it's the same for the other side. Whoopee. So that is it for this review. I'll catch you. Well, not catch you. I'll see you in another one.